Uh, if you're new here, we do have a lot of new people. Welcome and thank you so much. Let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Renee Paulson. I am a healthy living and nutrition coach, but also a recovering food and sugar addict that has lost over 100 pounds and now help other women do the exact same thing. Whether you got 100 pounds to lose or you only got 10 pounds to lose, I am your gal. Um, I do all of this through moderation. Uh, usually the only other programs for food and sugar addiction require like complete abstinence. I don't teach that because I don't believe that it works. Uh, I believe moderation is key, so having your cake and eating it too, but knowing how to do that and teaching tools. So today we're talking about how to get back on track after Thanksgiving, or a holiday, any holiday really, but Thanksgiving is a rough one here in, in the United States because it lands always on a Thursday, obviously, and then we have Black Friday, which whether you go shopping, most people I know don't go shopping anymore out of the house. They do it all online. I mean, if you're doing shopping out of the house, you're extremely brave. But um, um, So then you just kind of just grab whatever. And then the weekend, so it's kind of just turns into like a four day like eating fest. <laughs> and, and it can be hard to get back on track. Monday is extremely hard. Yesterday was very hard for me as well. Like I was truly... I was really feeling the effect of all that food with all that butter in it. And so it is harder to get back on track after a holiday because usually all the holidays now revolve around food. If you can think of a holiday that doesn't re revolve around food or have people who are really just talking about the food that's going to be served there, put it in the comments because I'd love to know this magical holiday because now we've revolved everything around food. So. Thanksgiving has already revolved around food, but <laughs> any holiday, it's harder to get back on track after we kind of let ourselves do whatever. And on Thanksgiving, I went in with a plan and then the universe laughed <laughs> and I had to reformulate my plan. Um, I didn't track my food that day and I did let myself indulge, but not to the point of feeling sick. I had done that for so many years that I really, and I double booked this year and I was like really regretting double booking and that's a lesson I will learn not ever to do again. <laughs> Unless the people you double book with won't be offended that you didn't eat because I think that the people at my second house were a little offended. Ooh, they already think I'm a weirdo that doesn't eat sugar anyway because they don't know me that well. So, um, but after Thanksgiving, getting back on track, some of the key things that are gonna really help us get back on track Number one is tracking our food. And nobody likes to do this. Sometimes if, like, if you're not used to tracking your food, then it is kind of, it seems very out there. It seems like very extreme. And it's really not. Because if you're trying to lose weight or eat healthy, or you're trying to do something with your health and your body or your weight, you need to track your food because you've got to know what's going in. Especially after Thanksgiving, um, we had all of that food that has a lot of fat in it. So knowing what you're looking at, that way you know how far to, that you really need to reel it in. Tracking your food is a tool I suggest for every single one of my clients. Uh, it has been shown once you track your food that you're like 80, I believe this statistic is 80% more successful with a weight loss journey. It takes the guessing work out of it, tracking your food. The app that I use is Chronometer. I truly love Chronometer for several reasons. They have a free version. They also have a paid version that's not super expensive. Um, I am gonna be looking at getting the coaching version for myself and my clients. I'm super excited about that. Um, but I absolutely love it. It also shows you your vitamins and your minerals and like all sorts of stuff. If you're interested in learning more about Chronometer, tracking your food and how I track my food, then you're definitely going to want to tune into Thursday's live in the private Facebook group. I'm going to link the group in the comments. So if you're not a member of that group yet, you're going to want to go and join that group. And Thursday, I do exclusive lives in that private Facebook group that you will not see anywhere else. And I'm going to go over this week how I track my food in Chronometer, how I split it up, how I break it down, how I balance everything, um, kind of just give you a crash course into chronometer. Now, obviously there will be a disclaimer that I have my specific fitness goals and what I'm doing right now, so it's not going to fit into everybody's. But if you're interested in how to get started with tracking your food and learning more about chronometer and balancing meals, definitely, definitely come see me on Thursday. This Thursday, what is it, December 
when are we in December 2nd? The 2nd. <laughs> oh my God, it's almost 2022. I have to tell you something at the end. Make sure you see it to the end because I got the big, big, big announcement coming. Um, so just stay till the end. All right, besides tracking your food, <clears throat> getting back on track is to also move your body. Now, I want to want to put a disclaimer here as well when it comes to tracking your food and and like dieting if you're trying to diet, which I don't recommend. It's a, it's a lifestyle. We'll get into that another time. And working out. In the month of December, keeping it for reals, it is hard to lose weight or start a new regimen uh, because it's the holidays and everybody, including Aunt Sally, got their amazing freaking cookies out and all this crap and you're like, eh, and it's also very stressful time of year, <laughs> very unusual time of year because then you've got Christmas, you've got Christmas Eve, if you're Jewish, you have Hanukkah, which I don't know. My, my son was actually asking a lot about Hanukkah this morning. I don't know that much about it. I know you get presents for a lot more days than one day, which sounds amazing. But you have all of these holidays, like all smushed all together, right? Back to back to back. And you're trying to see all these people. So trying to start a new regimen would be difficult. I'm not saying it's not doable because it is if you got your warrior mindset locked and loaded and that's what you decided to do. And especially sometimes if your health is failing and you have no other option, you got to start during the holidays. Been there for sure. But, um, as far as moving your body, even just walking, like getting up and walking. Yesterday I walked my son to school and walked home. Um, today I didn't take a walk, but I did do legs. But even if it's something as simple as walking and planning it like three days a week, three days a week where you take a 30 minute walk, you'll also find that those days of the week that it's easier to make better food choices. Um, and that's why moving your body is so successful. You cannot outwork a bad diet. I have tried, even though I really hate working out. Um, the reason that moving your body is so successful is it actually really helps with those food choices. So they go hand in hand, uh, but food choices is for sure uh, number one and the best way to look at your food choices without someone telling you, oh, that's bad. I don't do that with my clients. I tell you to track your food for a few days eating normally, whatever, however you normally would, and then you decide. Um, Chronometer does have where you can, it has like it spits out numbers, and we're gonna go into like for a person, like protein, carbs, and fat, and it kind of like spits out a guesstimate, guesstimate basically. Uh, we're gonna go over that more information on Thursday. Um, excuse me. But as far as moving your body, doing something simple. Uh, even as simple as walking, even as simple as like, I'm going to go walk, let's say you got to do mall shopping, do 10 minutes of power walking and then do your shopping in between, then 10 minutes of power walking in between. I don't care what it is. Find a way to move your body, especially during the holidays because the holidays are so stressful. Alleviating that stress and really kind of helping you get those feel good chemicals in, even like I said, even if it's just a brisk walk, that's going to make you feel so much better and help you get through the holidays a little bit easier than sitting on the couch, eating potato chips and drinking a pint of ice cream like I used to do, which made me feel worse. <laughs> so, um, really tracking your food and, um, moving your body and checking in with an accountability partner, uh, getting ready, especially too. Uh, check in with an accountability partner and just say, hey, you know, how are you doing? Get an agreement. If it's not a spouse, find a friend. If you don't have a friend, message me on Facebook and I will help you and we will, you know, figure out a way to, that you can make a plan and, and check in with people. And I do that all day long because having that support system is also very, very, very important. And my last tip for getting through the holidays would be to make a plan and make some goals for the new year. That way, I'm not saying like go ham the rest of the year because that just makes it harder for you in the new year. But if you have those goals in the year, maybe you can maintain or kind of like wiggle through the holidays a little bit or even maybe lose a little bit through the holidays most likely maintain. That's just keeping it real. Lots of people, that's the goal is to just trying to maintain through the holidays and not gain any weight. Uh, that's certainly my goal through the holidays. But, you know, 
each person's goals are different, but make some goals for the new year, whatever those health goals are. It doesn't have to be, you know, lose weight and it doesn't have to be lose my belly fat, but it could be get off my high blood pressure medication or get on a lower dose or clear up my labs and put my bad cholesterol back in check or, you know, whatever those goals are, but put them pen to paper. Don't put it in your phone. I do not believe in that. I wish I could show you. Wait, wait, it's right here. I take pen to paper every single day. There is a connection with your brain and pen to paper and writing things down. Goals, written goals are incredibly powerful because you have it written down. And then when you write it down, I don't care if it's on a sticky note or wherever, but make sure that it's visible so you understand what your goals are and what you're gonna be working towards so you can make it maybe possibly easier for yourself in the new year or you know keep that in mind so those are my tips on how to get back on track after thanksgiving let me know which tip you are going to start implementing today which one you got the most out of and i definitely hope that you will join me this thursday um, for the facebook live in the exclusive group like i said i'm going to be linking that in here if you're not already a member but I'm going to be going more in depth on tracking food, chronometer, how I balance meals, why that's important, um, all of those things on Thursdays live. Um, announcement, special announcement. <clears throat> if you are part of the Warrior Tribe in my email list, you will be receiving an email goodie tonight. And uh, be on the lookout for that because I am going to be called Mrs. Claus. I have some really, really amazing goodies. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and we've got some stuff to rock and roll and bring in the new year in style. So if you are not a member of the Warrior Tribe on my email list, I will also link that here in the comments so you can go, you can put your email in and then you will be the first to know all about the goodies. You will be receiving an email. I gotta get some work done. So hopefully you'll be receiving the email before 10 p.m. tonight. And if not, that means I'm gonna be really tired tomorrow. <laughs> so make sure, like I said, you're a member of that private group. I'll see you on Thursday so we can talk more about tracking food and all of that information. Uh, questions, anything, any comments, leave them in the comments and I will be checking them. Um, I always answer questions. I love connecting with everybody. Tracy's on, Michelle's on, what's up everybody? I am super grateful for every single person here. Uh, I truly love everybody and I'm proud of you. And I know that we are going to rock 2022 and like leave all these last, like 2020, that, that year, we, I just, we just wish you could forget it sometimes. But we can't, we're gonna bring in a new year. We're gonna bring in a new year, healthy, sexy warrior women. That's what we're doing this year. So get ready, girl. Make sure you're on the email list and be on the lookout this evening. I'll be sending some goodies to you. Until Thursday, I love you bunches. I hope that you have an amazing night and uh, I will see you later. Bye-bye.